September 25th. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, so, let's get started. First up, we have the phrase, deal with, someone or something. This expression means to handle, manage, or address a person, situation, problem, or task. It's all about taking necessary actions to tackle a particular issue. For example, I need to deal with this urgent matter before it gets worse. Or, she's really good at dealing with difficult customers and keeping them satisfied. Next, we have the word, empathize. Empathizing means understanding and sharing the feelings, emotions, or perspectives of another person. It's about putting yourself in someone else's shoes and showing compassion. For instance, she could empathize with her friend's grief after the loss of a loved one because she had experienced a similar loss. Now, let's talk about the phrase, at the end of the day. This is an idiomatic expression used to introduce a final thought or conclusion in a conversation. It's typically used to emphasize what's most important or to summarize the key point after discussing various aspects of a topic. For example, I know there are challenges and obstacles in our way, but at the end of the day, our goal is to succeed. Last but not least, we have, take the first step to do. This phrase means initiating or beginning a process, action, or journey by starting with the initial action or decision. It's all about making that crucial first move towards a goal. For instance, to start a successful business, you need to take the first step to develop a solid business plan. September 26th. First, we have the idiom, cross the line. This phrase means to behave inappropriately or go beyond acceptable or ethical boundaries. It refers to actions or statements that are considered offensive or disrespectful in a given context. For example, his comments during the meeting crossed the line, as they were both rude and unprofessional. Next, we have the word, move. In one sense, it refers to an action. For instance, borrowing money from him without discussing it first was a bold move on my part. Now, let's talk about, mess up. This informal expression means to make a mistake or cause confusion or problems in a situation. For instance, I accidentally spilled coffee on my shirt this morning, I really messed up. Lastly, we have the phrases, stay up all night, and, stay awake all night. These mean remaining awake throughout the entire night without sleeping. September 27th. Let's begin. First, we have, remember to do. This structure is used when you want to convey that you recall or have not forgotten to perform a particular action or task. For example, I remembered to feed the cat. It implies that the action was intended or planned. On the other hand, remember plus doing, focuses on remembering that you did something in the past. Like, I remember going to that amusement park when I was a child. Next, we have the word, hurt, which has multiple meanings. It can mean causing physical pain or injury, making someone sad or upset, or feeling emotional pain. For example, be careful with that knife or you could hurt yourself, or, his behavior at the party caused a lot of hurt feelings. Now, let's talk about, value. To value something means to think of it as important or useful. For instance, she values the time she spends with her family. It's all about recognizing the significance of people, things, or experiences in your life. Moving on, we have, address. In one sense, it means to speak to someone or a group. But more importantly, it's used to deal with or resolve a particular issue or situation. For example, we need to address the ongoing conflict between our team members before it escalates further. Lastly, we have, take the initiative to do. This phrase emphasizes the proactive and self-driven action taken to start or undertake a task without being explicitly told to do so. It's about taking responsibility and being motivated. For instance, taking the initiative to learn new skills can greatly enhance your career prospects. So, don't wait for instructions, 
Take the initiative. September 28th. First, we have the word, blurry. This adjective is used to describe something that lacks clear, sharp focus or definition. For example, without my glasses, everything in the distance looks blurry to me. It's important to have clear vision, both literally and metaphorically. Next, we have, high resolution. This term refers to the level of detail and clarity in an image, display, or data file. High resolution means there's a lot of fine detail, resulting in sharper and more detailed images or displays. So, if you're a photography enthusiast, you'll appreciate a high-resolution camera. Now, let's talk about, break the bank. This idiom means to spend a significant amount of money, often to the point where it strains your finances or exceeds your budget. For example, I'd love to go on a luxurious vacation, but I can't afford to break the bank right now. It's essential to budget wisely and avoid breaking the bank. September 29th. First up, we have, noun wise. This term is used to focus on a specific aspect or characteristic, discussing it in a detailed or emphasized manner. For example, career wise, I think I made an excellent choice, but life wise. Hmm, well. Next, we have, jaw dropping. This adjective describes something incredibly astonishing or impressive to the point where it leaves people in awe. For example, the grand finale of the concert featured a jaw-dropping guitar solo that had the audience cheering. It's all about those moments that take your breath away. Now, let's talk about, bad boy. In a positive sense, this informal term is used to describe something or someone exceptionally good, powerful, impressive, or formidable. For instance, this new sports car is a real bad boy on the road. It's incredibly fast and handles like a dream. Let's go. All right. On Monday, we started off with my diary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I think you don't have a very long-term memory. One of the most difficult things 인간으로서, as a human 관계들을 다루는 것이다. is dealing with relationships. One of the most difficult things as a human is dealing with relationships. 네, 두 번째는요. 재미있는 점은 우리는 행복해지기 위해 다른 사람들이 필요하지만 한편으로는 많은 스트레스가 다른 사람들로부터 온다는 거다. 자, 그건 웃기다. It's funny. 우린 다른 사람들이 필요하기 때문에. Because we need other people. 행복하기 위해. To be happy. 하지만 동시에 많은 우리의 스트레스는 온다. Yet a lot of our stress comes. 음, 다른 사람들로부터. From other people. It's funny because we need other people to be happy. Yet a lot of our stress comes from other people. 네. 네, funny라고 할 때는 웃긴 것보다는 네. 여기는 희한하다. At the end of the day, 우리 모두는 원하고 필요로 한다. We all want and need 거의 같은 것들을. pretty much the same things. 음. At the end of the day, we all want and need pretty much the same things. 네, 맞아요. Pretty much something 하면 거의 어떤 것이죠. 자, 네 번째. 바로 사랑받고 이해받기를 원한다는 것이다. 자, 우린 사랑받기를 원한다. We want to be loved. 그리고 이해되기를. And understood. We want to be loved and understood. 네. 자, 마지막 문장 해볼게요. 수년간 갈등은 누군가가 듣고 공감하는 행동을 먼저 취할 때더 빨리 해결된다는 것을 깨달았다. 자, 수년에 걸쳐. Over the years. 난 배워온 상태다. I've learned. 갈등들이 더 빨리 해결된다는 걸. That conflicts are resolved faster. 누군가 그냥 첫걸음을 내딛을 때. When someone just takes that first step. 듣고 공감하기 위해. To listen and empathize. Over the years, I've learned that conflicts are resolved faster when someone just takes that first step to listen and empathize. All right, let's take a listen to the diary. 
One of the most difficult things as a human is dealing with relationships. It's funny because we need other people to be happy, yet a lot of our stress comes from other people. At the end of the day, we all want and need pretty much the same things. We want to be loved and understood. Over the years, I've learned that conflicts are resolved faster when someone just takes that first step to listen and empathize. On Tuesday, mm -hmm. something you wrote an apology email to me. <laughs> 아, I, don't know, 미안해, I don't know what you did, 네. but it sounds bad. 그렇죠. 네. 어, 정말 뭐 말한 거에 상처 주고 그래서 미안하다 뭐 이런 내용이었던 것 같은데요. <웃음> 맞아요. 한번 가보겠습니다. 네. 이봐, 세리나. 음, 저번에 내가 저지른 바보 같은 행동에 대해 사과하고 싶어서 전화했어. 연락했어. 자, 헤이, 세리나. 헤이, 세리나. 난 연락하고 싶었어. I wanted to reach out. 음, 그리고 미안하다고 말하고 싶었어. And say sorry. 내 바보 같은 움직임에 대해. For my dumb move. 지난번에. The other day. 음. Hey, Serena. I wanted to reach out and say sorry for my dumb move the other day. 네, 여기서 move라고 하는 건 실제로 몸이 움직인다는 것보다는 어떤 행동이나 조치. 라고 했죠. 자두 번째, 내가 실수한 걸 알아. 그래서 정말 마음이 안 좋아. 내가 너한테 할말한 말을 생각하며 밤을 세웠어. 자난 알아. 내가 엉망으로 만든 걸. I know I messed up. 그리고 난 정말 마음이 안 좋아. And I feel really bad. 난 밤새도록 깨어 있었어. I stayed awake all night. 내가 너에게 말한 것에 대해 생각하며. Thinking about what I said to you. 음. I know I messed up and I feel really bad. I stayed awake all night thinking about what I said to you. 좋아요. 세 번째. 너에게 상처 주려고 의도한 게 절대 아니야. 내가 그런 말을 했다는 걸못 믿겠어. 난 절대 의도하지 않았어. I never meant 너에게 상처를 주려고 to hurt you. 그리고 난 믿을 수 없어. And I can't believe 내가 그것들을 말했다는 걸 I said those things. I never meant to hurt you. And I can't believe I said those things. 음흠. 네 번째, 내가 완전히 선을 넘었고 그렇게 바보같이 굴어서 정말 미안하다는 걸 알아주면 좋겠어. 자, 나는 완전히 그 선을 넘었어. I totally crossed the line. 그리고 난 네가 알기를 원해. And I want you to know. 내가 진정으로 미안하다는 걸. That I'm truly sorry. 그런 바보가 된 것에 대해. For being such an idiot. <웃음> I totally crossed the line and I want you to know that I'm truly sorry for being such an idiot. 네. 마지막 문장. 날 용서해 주길 어, 빌게. 어, 앞으로는 말하기 전에 생각부터 하겠다고 약속해. 자, 난 기도해. I pray. 네가 날 용서하길. That you forgive me. 난 약속해. I promise. 내가 말하기 전에 생각할 거라고. I'll think before I speak. 다음번엔. Next time. I pray that you forgive me. I promise I'll think before I speak next time. All right, let's take a listen to the email. Hey, Serena. I wanted to reach out and say sorry for my dumb move the other day. I know I messed up, and I feel really bad. I stayed awake all night thinking about what I said to you. I never meant to hurt you, and I can't believe I said those things. I totally crossed the line, and I want you to know that I'm truly sorry for being such an idiot. I pray that you forgive me. I promise I'll think before I speak next time. On Wednesday, we took a look at a response email 네. to that apology email. 맞아요. 우리 사과 이메일을 받아들이는 거죠? 가보겠습니다. 먼저 연락해 사과해줘서 고마워. 솔직함과 진정성에 대해서도 고맙고. 자, 나에게 연락한 것에 대해 고마워. Thanks for reaching out to me. 먼저. First. 그리고 사과한 것에 대해. And apologizing. 난 고마워. I appreciate 너의 솔직함과 진정성이 Your honesty and sincerity. Thanks for reaching out to me first and apologizing. I appreciate your honesty and sincerity. 네. 자, 두 번째. 네가 한 말로 정말 상처받았었는데 누구나 실수는 하는 거니까. 자, 난 정말 상처받았어. I was really hurt. 네가 말한 것에 의해. By what you said. 하지만 난 이해해. 
But I understand. 우리 모두 실수들을 하는 걸. That we all make mistakes. I was really hurt by what you said. But I understand that we all make mistakes. 네. 저 여기서 hurt는 hurt를 당했다라는 형용사로 쓴 거죠, 그렇죠? That's right. Mm-hmm. I was hurt. 맞아요. I was really hurt. 자세 번째, 나한테는 우리 우정도 가치가 있어. 그래서 너한테 다시 한번 기회를 줄 의향이 있어. 자, 난 우리 우정도 같이 있게 생각해. I value our friendship too. 그리고 난 너에게 줄 의향이 있어. And I'm willing to give you 또 하나의 기회를 another chance. I value our friendship too and I'm willing to give you another chance. 네, 여기서 be willing to는 핵심 패턴이기 때문에 죽어도 알아야 돼요. Mm-hmm. 자, 네 번째, 이제부터는 생, 어, 생각부터 하고 말해달라는 것만 기억해줘. 자, 그냥 기억해. Just remember 생각하는 걸 to think 어, 네가 뭐라도 말하기 전에 before you say anything 이제부터 계속 from now on. Just remember to think before you say anything from now on. 아, 이 문장은 아이들한테도 써도 될것 같아요. 음, mm-hmm. 뭔가 그냥 말하지 마라. <웃음> <웃음> think twice 해라. Yes. 이런 식으로 해도 되겠네요. Uh, that's how you blend in with society. 그렇죠. 사회생활이 <웃음> 그런 거야. 그렇게 blend in 할수 있어. 이런 느낌. <웃음> 네. 자, 마지막 문장. 어, 네가 솔선해서 이 얘기를 꺼내서 다행이야. 악감정은 없어. 자, 난 기뻐. I'm glad. 네, 네가 솔선해서 이걸 언급해서. You took the initiative to address this. 힘든 감정들은 없어. There are no hard feelings. I'm glad you took the initiative to address this. There are no hard feelings. 아, 저희가 월요일 날에 take that first step 아, 배웠잖아요. 네, that's right. Take the initiative 비슷한 표현이네요. 오, 그러면 여기서 I'm glad you took the first step to 이런 yes. 식으로 해도 느낌 괜찮네요. 네, 맞아요. 네, 먼저 이렇게 해줘서 고맙다. Mm-hmm. 그렇죠? All right, let's take a listen to the email. Thanks for reaching out to me first and apologizing. I appreciate your honesty and sincerity. I was really hurt by what you said, but I understand that we all make mistakes. I value our friendship too, and I'm willing to give you another chance. Just remember to think before you say anything from now on. I'm glad you took the initiative to address this. There are no hard feelings. And on Thursday, we wrote an ad for the Wii Phone X. Oh, 맞아요. <웃음> 방금 출시된 휴대전화기가 되겠고요. 뭔가 features에 대한 얘기를 많이 했었죠? Mm-hmm. 음, 가보겠습니다. Okay. 새로 나온 Wii Phone X의 놀라운 기능을 발견하세요. 자, 믿을 수 없는 특징들을 발견하세요. Discover the incredible features. 자, 완전 새로운 Wii Phone X의 of the all new Wii Phone X. Discover the incredible features of all of the all new Wii Phone X. 네, 여기서 feature이라고 하는 거가 정말 직역을 하면 뭔가 특징인데 그게 결국 기능이라는 얘기예요. Mm-hmm. 그렇죠? Yeah. 자, 두 번째. 여러분의 모바일 경험을 한 단계 높이도록 설계되었습니다. 멋진 10인치 OLED 디스플레이에 몰입하세요. 자, 그건 설계되었습니다. It is designed. 당신의 모바일 경험을 올리게. 네, 엘리베이터 생각하시면 돼요. 맞아요. To elevate your mobile experience. 당신 스스로를 몰입시키세요. Immerse yourself. 놀라운 10인치 OLED 디스플레이에. In the stunning 10-inch OLED display. 음. It is designed to elevate your mobile experience. Immerse yourself in the stunning 10-inch OLED display. 네. 자, 세 번째. 고해상도 전면 카메라로 흐릿한 셀카와 작별하고 AI 기반의 뷰티 모드로 사진의 품질을 높여보세요. 자, 흐릿한 셀카들에게 작별 인사를 하세요. 완전히 안녕 이거죠? <웃음> Say goodbye to blurry selfies. 음, 고해상도 전면의 카메라로 With the high resolution front camera 그리고 당신의 사진들을 향상시키세요. And enhance your photos 네, AI의 힘을 받는 뷰티 모드들로 With AI powered beauty modes Say goodbye to blurry selfies with the high resolution front camera and enhance your photos with AI powered beauty 네. 어, 여러분 여기서 say goodbye to를 여기 소유격을 넣어도 돼요. 대신에 say your goodbye라고 한다면 goodbyes 해서 s를 넣어주세요. Mm-hmm. Alright. 자네 번째 문장. 오래가는 5,000 암페어 배터리로 온 종일 사용할 수 있습니다. 자 오래 지속되는 5,000 암페어 어, 배터리가 당신을 유지할 겁니다. The long-lasting 5,000 mAh battery will keep 
어, keep you, 그렇죠? Uh-huh. Keep you 어떤 상태로? Power가 들어온 상태로. Powered up. 온 종일. Throughout the day. Mm. Uh, the long-lasting 5,000 mAh battery will keep you powered up throughout the day. 네. 네, mAh는 그냥 mAh라고 하셔도 되고요. milliampere 아니면 milliampere hours라고 하셔도 돼요. 네, 자 마지막. 너무 비싸지 않은 최고급 스마트폰을 찾고 계신다면 이 제품이 바로 그것입니다. 자, 당신이 최고 수준의 스마트폰을 찾고 있다면 If you are looking for a top-notch smartphone 은행을 부수지 않을 That won't break the bank 이게 그것입니다. This is the one. If you are looking for a top-notch smartphone that won't break the bank This is the one. Let's take a listen to the ad. Discover the incredible features of the all-new WePhone X. It is designed to elevate your mobile experience. Immerse yourself in the stunning 10-inch OLED display. Say goodbye to blurry selfies with the high-resolution front camera and enhance your photos with AI-powered beauty modes. The long-lasting 5,000 mAh battery will keep you powered up throughout the day. If you are looking for a top-notch smartphone that won't break the bank, this is the one. And yesterday, we took a look at a product review 네. of the We Phone X. 맞아요. We Phone X의 사용 후기 관련해서 한번 어, 훈련해 보겠습니다. 네. We Phone X에 대한 저희, 저의 솔직한 생각을 나누고 싶었어요. 자, 저는 그냥 나누고 싶었어요. I just wanted to share 저의 솔직한 생각들을 My honest thoughts We Phone X에 대한 On the We Phone X. I just wanted to share my honest thoughts on the We Phone X. 네, 그래서 so 여기서 대한 뭔가에 대한 생각, 의견이라고 할때 어이랑 같이 묶어주는 센스. 네, 네, 맞습니다. 맞습니다. 자, 두 번째. 우선 말씀드리고 싶은 건이 제품이 저에게 신세계를 보여줬다는 거예요. 이거는 어떻게든 말하고 싶었다는 거죠, 그렇죠? 자, 제가 시작하게 해주세요. Let me start. 말함으로써 by saying 그건 게임을 바꾸는 것이 왔다고. That it's been a game. Changer 나의, 아, 저를 위해. for me. Let me start by saying that it's been a game changer for me. 좋아요. 세 번째, 트리플 렌즈 설정으로 입이 떡 벌어지는 사진들을 찍었고 셀카도 더할 나위 없이 좋았어요. 자, 전 약간의 턱이 떨어지는 사진들을 찍었어요. I've taken some jaw-dropping photos 트리플 렌즈 설정으로 with the triple lens setup 그리고 셀카들은 절대 더 나아 보인 적이 없어요. And selfies have never looked better. I've taken some jaw-dropping photos with the triple lens setup and selfies have never looked better. 네, 이런 식으로 마지막에 어, 뭔가가 더 좋아, 좋은 적이 없었다 이렇게 얘기하는 건 지금 상태가 제일 좋다라고 해서 광고에서 많이 쓰는 말투죠. 그렇죠. 맞아요. 어, 아니면 if you know maybe something good happened in your relationship, mm-hmm. you guys started communicating. Mm-hmm. Oh, things have never been better. 아, 그 uh-huh. 얘기는 결국 지금 제일 좋다. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 자, 네 번째. 성능 면에서 이 녀석은 대박입니다. 그것도 그렇고 배터리 수명도 꽤 인상적이고요. 자, 성능 면에서 Performance wise, 이 나쁜 녀석은 짐승이에요. This bad boy is a beast. 게다가 plus. 배터리 수명도 꽤나 인상적이에요. The battery life is pretty impressive too. Mm-hmm. Performance wise, this bad boy is a beast. Plus, the battery life is pretty impressive too. Alright, 마지막 문장 조금 길어요. 전반적으로 We Phone X는 제 기대를 뛰어넘었습니다. 스타일리시하고 강력하며 다양한 기능으로 가득 차 있네요. 자, 전반적으로 Overall, We Phone X는 초과한 상태예요. The We Phone X has exceeded 저의 기대들을 My expectations. 그건 스타일리시해요, 강력해요. It's stylish, powerful. 그리고 특징들로 가득 차 있어요. And packed with features. Let's take a listen to the review. I just wanted to share my honest thoughts on the We Phone X. Let me start by saying that it's been a game changer for me. I've taken some jaw-dropping photos with the triple lens setup, and selfies have never looked better. Performance-wise, this bad boy is a beast. Plus, the battery life is pretty impressive, too. Overall, the Wii Phone X has exceeded my expectations. It's stylish, powerful, and packed with features. All right, that is it. 여러분, 수고 많으셨어요. 어, 그러니까요. 우리 한달 동안.